actually Tom Stubblefield and uh, Henry Vega, uh, uh, Manny Herrera, uh, and uh, uh, Manny's Manny's wife. They were they really wanted to uh, have more insight from the community and let the community feel like they could talk to us. So we, uh, we came up with uh, the idea of the uh, community outreach. And out of all these people, I can't tell you which one had the first time to say it, but they all wanted to be involved. So we, uh, the community group itself, the UCAB, decided that one good place to go to begin with was the uh, elementary schools in, in southern Tucson. So uh, Tom and I went out and uh, touched bases with the uh, superintendent of schools and the uh, principals of the most local elementary schools. El Vrivo School was one of them, and I can't remember the others. Uh, and we, we were asking uh, if, the, if we could uh, find a way to have the teachers talk to the children or have us come and talk with the children a little bit about cleanups. And uh, the Air Force uh, and the uh, Hughes Aircraft Company at that time were involved in the community uh, for what they called the, uh, what was it, the Environmental Earth Day. It's called Earth Day already. So uh, the, the uh, Hughes Aircraft Company had already participated at the county fairgrounds for fair, when the fair comes every year. They had already participated for Earth Day in that. And, uh, and talking to the people I worked with at the company uh, and talking to the community, we wanted a good way to work with things. So I got the uh, people at Hughes Aircraft to agree that uh, they would, uh, they would uh, support some of the efforts towards Earth Day and allow the, the UCAB to participate. So to make it a little shorter, we were able to convince a couple of the principals to talk to some of their teachers. We had some teachers volunteer to sign up to begin to teach their children something and to do a project. And uh, so at the old Pueblo Center, we worked for quite a while in preparation for the, uh, commu the uh, county fair coming up in months ahead. Uh, but we got the children to participate and make a, a project, a science fair project, towards Earth Day. And uh, then we set up a uh, sort of a carnival at the Old Pueblo Center. And because the, uh, uh, the Air National Guard was part of the groups that we were working with, I'd contacted the commander from the Air National Guard and he volunteered his troops to bring out. They set up military tents in the old Pueblo parking center for us for, so we had shade and we set up displays in there with the children from the uh, Elvira school and one other I wish I can't remember the name of that anyhow they came and set up displays and we set up a little group to vote on the, the kids there and uh, in during all this other stuff going on I had contacted the EPA and Hughes Aircraft uh, in, uh, in the city I contacted all of them and asked them, you know, we're, we're have, asking these children to participate. They need to have an award if they, if they get a ribbon. So what we did is we set it up so that we could get uh, uh, tickets to the county fair for the ones that had ribbons out of the display at the old Pueblo Center. And uh, so <clears throat> it was kind of funny because if one or two of the people would say, yeah, we can give a ticket to this one child. And I said, no, you, if this one child comes, you have to supply enough tickets to the fair for the whole family and to be able to ride some rides while they're there and have a few things. So between all the participants, we've got people to donate enough money to get tickets to the winners and their families to be able to go to the fair. And that was the beginning of our outreach programs. And today, some of that has spread to the high schools, I believe, in Tucson. And uh, uh, so they continue some of this work around Tucson towards the idea of understanding the problems with contaminations in your town and, and ways to excite people and incite people to continue to work towards having a better community for themselves.